Hey friends, Terry Greer, and I wanted to make a video about how to start your sobriety journey in 2021. You know, uh, it took me two years from the time that I started exploring sobriety until the time where I took my last drink, and that, that was about a little over two years ago. And during those two years, I spent most of it journaling and thinking deeply and getting to the point where I was ready, looking back. But in the moment, what, what I was really struggling with was um, how could I be the exception? Did I really have to quit drinking? Could, couldn't I, couldn't I uh, get all the rewards and benefits that I see from all the people that are sober that I started following and reading about and looking into? but yet still still just drink on the weekends when with my friends or just if i only had happy hour once a month or maybe i just drank uh during the christmas season you know i started i just played around with ideas thinking that um that that i could figure it out that i could solve the puzzle that probably millions of people have before me that that i could i could figure it out like i, I didn't have this problem i wasn't in jail i didn't have an um, um, that moment of rock bottom but um i just wasn't quite ready to give it up i just thought you know what it, it's not now that in the moments in the moments, to be brutally honest, I was like, wow, this stuff is just like killing me and I got to stop. But as time marched forward, right, and I would have six weeks, eight weeks, nine, uh, uh, six months of sobriety, I started getting these little thoughts that maybe, look, I've got, I've got this under control. You know, a couple of drinks here, a couple of drinks there. And, and what I discovered was basically once I doubted my decision, and I started to allow alcohol back in my life. It wasn't it wasn't a catastrophic event, but it would just slowly drag me right back to where I was. And with the help of journaling, which I'm going to discuss, and writing your thoughts down, I was able to see patterns develop. And I realized that I was repeating patterns that I thought I was already beyond. So, and I was losing ground essentially. So I'm not sure where you are in your journey or how bad it is. Or, or how bad it's not. But I know probably if you're like most of us and you're starting 2020, if alcohol is on your mind, you probably were like, hey, let's just get through the season. Let's get through the holidays. New Year's Eve is coming. Um, I'll deal with this in January. I'll deal with this in January. Well, my friends, January's here. So, you know, you gotta get started if you want to start. And, and, and the interesting thing, uh, my sober mentor, if you will, who I've met a couple of times, Holly Whitaker uh, of thetempest.com, um, she was the reason she got my attention. And, and I don't know her personally. She's in New York and, and uh, is an amazing story and has a book. And, I'll, and I can link all that to you if you, if you want to know. Um, but she famously says, if you've already been thinking about it, and you're like, you're afraid to start. Well, I got news for you. You've started. You started this journey probably and you don't even realize it. So, so the, 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 the message is to carry that journey forward and take that next step. And what's that next step? In my opinion, it is to take a break from alcohol. That break will give you some clarity. And, and with, with distance from it, you'll be able to make better decisions. There's nothing that hugely that needs to be decided or figured out or anything else other than just to stop drinking. Stop drinking. Move towards healing and away from the thing that has been causing you grief, right? And, and maybe that's just a day for you, one day, right? If you can get through a whole day, um, that's powerful. If you can get through a week, even better. And 30 days is even better. 30 days of, and, and, and of taking a break. And I want you to journal during that time. Any time that you really um, want to take a drink, just sit down with a pen and paper. And, and it doesn't have to be a fancy little notebook. It could be a yellow tablet. It could be three by five cards. It could be back of an envelope. Just start writing down kind of what's going through your mind. What, 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 what trigger, what feeling are you feeling? What are you trying to solve uh, that couldn't be solved with the sitting? or making a cup of tea or coffee or, or, or water, whatever, whatever you want to drink. My third opinion, uh, well, let's stick with journaling just for a second. 
the point of the journal is yes is, is a relief valve a valve in the moment but it documents what's going on in your mind so that you can start to see the patterns developed. You can start to see, oh, I wrote the same thing five days ago. I thought I sort of figured that out. I sort of thought through that, I thought. Why am I feeling this way still? Uh, what am I feeling? Just getting in touch with some of that. Um, the anxiety, the fear, the uh, thoughts, what, whatever, just write them down. And then, and then, and then meditation. And I'm not necessarily saying like, you know, special, but just sit. So journaling and meditation. Let me give you an example on, uh, on the scale. Journaling is grabbing your thought and putting it on paper. Meditation is sitting, clearing your mind. Thought comes in and you push to the, push it away. You're in the clouds. See how beautiful the, see, there's not a cloud in the sky behind me. And that's how your mind should be. But it, it won't be that way for more than five seconds the first time you do it. And as soon as that thought comes in, ooh, shouldn't I unload the, the dishwasher? I told my wife I was gonna, I was gonna finish doing the dishwasher so we could uh, finish cleaning the kitchen. Just grab it and push it away like it's a cloud. Clear that mind so it's beautiful blue sky like behind me. Oh, that email. Oh, I was supposed to message my friend. Grab it and push it away. That's meditation. Do it for one minute five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you, whatever you can do. The, the point is, is not how, at first, not how long you can keep your mind clear, although that's where you're trying to get to. The point is sitting with yourself and dealing with those thoughts that are coming in, knowing that you're trying to clear your mind. It, it's just, it's being with yourself, being in and with yourself. So I hope, I hope if you're thinking about this, that I gave you some insight of maybe to just start down that journey. It's so important that you make a decision, you don't doubt the decision, and that you keep your word that you made to yourself. One of the most important things that I've learned uh, through my years, especially when I started trying to seek a, a, a deeper life, uh, is that what do you do when no one else is watching, right? Uh, you're probably a person of integrity and and you wouldn't steal if you got to a to a um, uh, a restaurant and there was money on the table that you knew was for the waitress tip you wouldn't take that and put it in your pocket because that's not the person you are right that's what you do even though no one's watching do you pick up the drink when no one's watching uh, do you take that substance when you've already made a promise to yourself, right? It's not about, it's not about what you can get away with. It's about keeping the, your word to yourself, living, living with integrity f f within. And, and that is, that is so, um, that is just so important. That's like step one of those 30 days. So just, um, Going, going back to Holly's video that spoke to me, it was just like, man, you're in the grind. And it's just like, you, you, you're, you're like, oh, I want, I'm, it's getting close to a happy hour. What do I do? Maybe I'd, you know, it's like carry the fuck on. It's like you've made the commitment. It's five o'clock. You're going to go to bed at 10 o'clock. You've got a couple of hours. We can figure this out. Just do the next thing in front of you. Clean the kitchen again. Sweep the floor. Do some chores. Read a book. Uh call a friend take your mind off things um, you, you can do it just carry forward do the next thing that that could that could um, help you heal so wishing you the best I hope I hope you have a great 2021 if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them in the comments I will I will try to respond or give you some resources uh, I'm certainly not a guru I'm just a guy living in Cedar Park Texas that's trying to uh, share uh, my experience and maybe I can be of help to you wishing you the best and I will uh, hopefully talk to you soon